major difference between distance and displacement is that distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity. So now, what is a scalar quantity? A quantity which has only magnitude. Only magnitude. And a vector quantity has a magnitude as well as a direction. So the best example for a scalar quantity is time. So what is the time right now? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock towards east, towards west. We don't want to give anything like that, right? So it has got no direction. Time. While in case of vector, let's take the example of force. Force has got a direction. I apply force downwards. I can apply force upwards. I can apply force sideways. So it has got a direction along with the magnitude. 10 newton force downwards. Okay. So here the best example is force. So that was the major or the basic difference between distance and displacement. Now let's take an example. Suppose a body is traveling. And it reaches from A to B. The body is traveling from A to B. So I take this as 5 meter, as 6 meter, and this is 8 meter. So now my body has gone from A to B. So what is the total distance I travel? It's very easy. Total distance I travel is 5 plus 6 plus 8. Nineteen meter. Do not forget the unit. Nineteen meter. But I have to not write a direction here because distance is a scalar quantity and there is no direction. Okay. Now what is the displacement? The displacement is the shortest distance. The straight line distance from the initial position A to the final position B. Initial position A to the final position B. So my straight line If I take this distance from A to B, let it be 30 meter. So my displacement is 30 meter along AB. Why along AB? Because I'm traveling from A to B. If I was traveling from B to A, it would have been along BA. Okay. So my displacement, or rather the body's displacement, is 30 meter direction along AB. This is the first example. I think now it has almost become clear what is the difference between distance and displacement. Let's take another example. Okay. So I hope you all are enjoying this. Okay. So a car. Okay, my car. I'm going to a shop. Okay. I travel a distance of 5 km here. I go from my home to the shop 5 km. Then I come back. Okay, I take another route and come back to the same position. To the same position A. To the same position A. Let this be 6 km. So my total distance traveled will be the total length, the total length of the path I traveled to go to the shop and return back to my home. So the total length of the path I traveled, that means the total distance I traveled, very easy to calculate. That is 5 plus 6 kilometer, 5 plus 6, 11 kilometer is the distance I traveled. Now what is the displacement? The displacement is the shortest distance from the initial to the final position. From my initial and final position are the same, that is A. Initial and final position are the same, that is A. So the total displacement I travelled is 0, 0 kilometer. 
So my displacement is zero kilometer. So now we can summarize everything that the distance traveled is the length, the total length of the path I traveled and the displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and the final positions.